don't know what video number this is. I think it's 47, maybe. Had an idea the other day. My partner came up with this one. Got this aquarium for, I don't know, a dollar at a garage sale. It had this top. It's a glass top. Dirty glass top. I don't know if you can see it. It's overcast today, so the lighting's not very good. Now, what I was using it for was insect collection, whatever. I started mon collecting monarchs. Okay, let me just get my really see. There's the there's the worm. There's another one. Well, there was one in here. I don't know where it went. It was tiny, tiny, tiny. Tiny, tiny. Feel about all this jiggling around. That's how it is when you don't have a stable camera. Anyways. There's some eggs from something. I don't know what them eggs are from. Yeah. Not coming into focus. Don't know why. Anyways, here's the eggs. Oh, it's not going to come into focus. Yeah. Um, anyways, so what happened was I needed to make a screen lid for this. And of course, as you all know, I'm one of these. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Use what you got to make what you want. And... So my partner came up with this idea. I was going to use a screen, a regular window screen, and pack it together. But we don't have any extra window screens here that he'd let me use. He claims he's going to open these windows that haven't been opened in 15 years, but whatever. I digress. Anyway, so what we used is some of these used for crafting, for cross-stitch, needlework, some, you know, some type of crafting. Some people use this for bonsai trees to put it over the hole to, um, at the bottom of the flower pot. So the water will go through, but the dirt won't. What I did, I had these scraps, small scraps, and... I put them together and what I used, I saved my twisty ties from the uh, bread bag. He buys bread, I make my own. And I put the, I looped the twist ties through the holes to secure them. Now if you look, I don't know if you can see, for some reason this doesn't want to focus today. But I put for extra support around the edge so it wouldn't just keep falling in. I put extra strips, an extra strip along the edge, the long ways. I wasn't worried about these sides, but long ways I put an extra strip of that plastic for reinforcement. And I loop the twisty ties through. This way it'll give it air. Won't steam up too much because this, I wanted to leave this outside this year. Last year I put it inside and it was, um, you know, with the air condition inside, um, it didn't really matter. But the problem is, you know, with this, you know, when you're bringing in nature, you sometimes get bugs from the leaves whatever gnats and so I wanted to leave it outside now this right here that would be because it gets 
you know, it gets warmer outside. There's no, you know, central air. So it will get too humid, maybe even too hot inside the, the tank. So this is a way to where I can see through it. They still get the air circulation going through, cools it off too. And plus they can still climb up. One of the things that the, um, the worms like to do is to crawl up to a high area and make their cocoon. So they can still make their cocoon on this. They'll still be able to. So that's what, just an idea what you can use. You could also, I was thinking you could also probably use uh, cheesecloth and you could take twigs and wrap the cheesecloth around the twigs on all four sides and tighten it up, maybe cut off the edge of the twigs and then hot glue the twigs together. I was thinking of that, but since I had this and this was the less drama, more secure, I decided to go with this way. Okay, so there we go. Your lid for your aquarium.